Howdy folks, Todd Johnson again. It's August 13th, 2015. Just finished doing a segment on some basic knots that you might like to know in your horsemanship. I'm going to run a quick picket line. We're in the barn here, so it's going to be a short one. We're trying to balance the light with the wind noise. Uh, so I've got a hundred feet of line here. Now this happens to be the same line that Prelly Savvy strings and some of the other strings are made out of. Uh, it's a yachting braid. Uh, it's not necessarily that you have this exact line. Um, it would be nice to have a finer, uh, strong line. This is about a quarter inch line. If you're trying to use a heavier line, like, uh, like some of the lead lines come in, and you want to get something this long, you're going to have a huge bulk. It's not going to be really easy for you to carry around. I've got this all looped together, wrapped it a few times, and I've tucked the end through here. And this can tie around the cantle of my saddle pretty easily with saddle strings, and it can ride with me all day. One easy way to carry it if you don't have saddle bags. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to pretend we're tying to some trees out in a natural setting. And we want to really make as little impact as possible on our surroundings. Uh, so if we put this type of a line on a tree and we cinch it down real tight, and there's a lot of moving around by the horses, we could saw through the bark, especially on a thin bark or a smooth bark tree. We could saw through the bark in uh, such a way that we could really damage that tree and it's not necessary. So, one simple fix is you can take the cinch off of your saddle and you can run that cinch around your object tree here, okay? Run your line through your cinch, okay? And now, let's go back to our knot video and remember some of the knots we use. Here would be a great place for, say, a bowling or a stockman's bow. So we're going to make our halo, wrap, under, okay? And I'm just going to tuck a little loop in here so that I can jerk that loose as a slip knot later. And I've got one end of my picket line secure in such a manner that it's not going to harm the tree. Now, I would do that at both ends for the um, ease of taping here and to speed things up a little bit. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to uh, show you some tricks when we get to the other end. Next thing I would do is I'd space myself uh, some picket lines. What I would want to do is space my first horse far enough away, and usually we're going to get quite a bit higher than this. If we can get eight feet in the air, that's going to be fantastic um, so that we can't have a situation of a horse getting over the line, okay? Horses commiserating over the line. We also want our horse to have enough line that he can lay down on the ground, but when he does, his line is now just loosely taut, okay, so that he can't have line on the ground to get tangled in when he lays down and he tries to get back up. I'd also like him far enough from the tree that he can't nibble the tree, scratch the tree. He may scratch the tree a little bit with his butt, but I really like to keep his teeth off of that tree, okay? So when we find the distance that we like, we're just going to assume we've got it here. Then I'm going to start tying some picket line knots. Wrap my hand three times. First one tucks to the back. Second one tucks to the back. When it comes through, picket line number one. I'd move over a, a distance that would allow my horses to have some space between them so we don't end up in a tail to tail kick and match in the middle of the night. Be very um, cognizant of how you're picking in your horses out. You've got horses that are pretty uh, get along pretty well they're closer together a horse that may not be further apart if you've got say one mare that's maybe in her cycle and she's upset in the apple cart you know you might want to pick at her separately I might tie another quick picket line knot here front line to the back next front line to the back pull it through okay so as you see we can do this indefinitely you can also do these pretty close to each other and hang a feed bag off of there Okay, so, uh, so you've got a feed bag and your horse separate. I'd like the feed bag far enough that it's not going to get wrapped in my picketed horse's uh, lead rope. All right, so at this point, we're heading our way down to our next tree. Something that's really important is that you get these lines just as tight as you really conceivably can. So I'm going to show you a trick. We're going to tie one more of these picket line knots several feet off of that tree. And we're going to do something called a trucker's hitch. Trucker's hitch is when you tie a loop in your line. And again, imagine that we're running this through the rings of a cinch. So just for ease of use here, I'm going to run this around our tree, back through my picket line knot, 
And I'm going to use that knot as a pulley to uh, pulley myself tight. Now, I've got 100 feet of line here. I would not have to pull this all the way through. I could absolutely just use a loop, but I will just for ease of videotaping today. <laughs> That's a lot of line there. Pull that on through. Once we're through like so, here's a neat little tidbit. If I keep this pinched, it's going to stay. I can take this, wrap it around, tuck a loop in there. Oh, come on now. <laughs> wrap it around, tuck a loop in there, pull that back against that spot there, and I've cinched that down, okay? I can take a couple of these half hitch halos up here pretty nice and tight like so. That knot's not going anywhere. If I want to take one more for peace of mind, I can take one more for peace of mind. That knot again is not going anywhere. Don't tie anything to this loop, all right, but that's safe. If for even a little bit more peace of mind you wanted to give that one quick little wrap and tuck, you can. Does not need to even be snug. Just something to get a little slack out of the way. Make sure maybe some teeth get on there. They can't untie that. Last thing I do now is I'd go and tie, whether it's my horses or my gear to the picket line with either a bank robber's knot, or this might be a place that I'd use another bowling. So if we pull this loose, my horse isn't instantly free. But you know, you might want the option to be able to jerk that horse absolutely clean, in which case you use a John Wayne's knot. So we're going to do both. Again, I'm going to give my horse enough line that when my knot's pulled tight, a couple inches, eight, ten inches from the ground, something like that, six inches from the ground. And on my halo here, I know that this is going to burn a little slack, so I probably maybe have my rope about touch the ground. On my halo, wrap my halo, wrap my line, tuck a loop on through. Now I've got my horse tied with a stockman's bowline. And just like I did over there, I can take one more halo, tuck this loop down in there, and old Nelly can't grab hold of your rope and lead herself off into the mountain range somewhere. I can just as easily jerk this slip knot loose, and my horse is still, in this case, on the tie ring. If I'd rather my horse be able to come loose cleanly and completely, then I would just, in this case, go run a John Wayne's type knot through here. So again, a loop through the loop. Wrap the loop. And again, I might wrap it a couple of times here. Okay. See how that, see how by being wrapped a couple of times there, I'm going to end up with such a big knot that it cannot get pulled through this ring. Under. Snug that down. And again, I'm going to make my little locking knot here out of a half hitch halo. And my horse is set. If I need to get out of here, I don't even need to undo this halo. I can just grab this handle in the back and my horse has come loose clean. So here's a few knots. When you put them together, you've run a picket line. They come handy. They come handy whether you're tying up buckets, you're tying together some old some gates that have come down. You got to make a quick savvy string repair to your fence. You're tying your horses in the barn. You're tying your horses out. These are knots that are quick, they're safe, they're repeatable, and you'll be able to get them undone even if your horse should pull back. Thanks so much for watching. This is Todd Johnson, the J-Bit Ranch.